Cyclone Yakikan turning away from the Brazilian coast today. So the improbable has been achieved by this now tropical cyclone Yakikan moving away from the coast of Brazil currently at 27.9 degrees south 46.1 degrees west this storm now moving towards the northeast and has uh, put it together a decent amount of convection there with 50 mile per hour winds and a central pressure of around 992 millibars moving northeast at 26 miles per hour. This is the latest as of 12 p.m. Brazilian time, um, and this storm has made that transition. Of course, it was delivering stronger winds yesterday and last night than it is now, uh, but it is still there just off the coast with 50 mile per hour winds. The wind field doesn't reach land. This is our estimated wind field here, up to around 150 miles offshore. Um, and that's a graphical depiction of where exactly the storm is as well. It's currently 260 kilometers from Florianopolis, 434 from Curitiba, 495 from Sao Paulo, 629 from Rio de Janeiro and 920 from Belo Horizonte inland. The storm now, as it curves further away from land, it might get a little bit closer to Sao Paulo before it starts to uh, increase its distance away from land and it will eventually turn eastwards and then southeastwards way out to sea. And here is the forecast in its current wind fields. This is what we're expecting to happen then as the storm moves on. You can see it there and then shifting down towards the southeast, far, far away, blowing by Tristan da Cunha and uh, what's left of it will be long post-tropical by this point, but it will pass south of southern Africa indeed and probably end up somewhere in the Indian Ocean in the very high latitudes um, as an extra tropical cyclone. Might be an interesting one to track in its late life. And this is the GFS model. You can see the storm there taking center stage and then shooting down towards the southeast. Another extra tropical cyclone there trying to have a go, uh, but uh, the current one moving way out over there down towards the bottom right hand side into oblivion. Um, and another look at this, you can see the wind speeds getting into the yellows nearly there. That's hurricane force winds. It may actually have a chance at reaching hurricane force winds, although I think by the time it does that, it will be post-tropical. The chances of it becoming an actual hurricane now, tropical hurricane, uh, are beyond it. And here's a look at the total precipitable water, an idea about the moisture plume involved. And you can see the storm itself there much more uh, on its own compared to the other systems around it. And that massive uh, frontal system there, it would appear um, a trough in any case with that um, moisture plume extending itself until it snaps basically um, as the storm uh, drags it along as it shifts down towards the southeast. Very interesting setup here um, that we're seeing right now and of course um, fairly late in what we would call a South Atlantic season if you can call it that as well. Rainfall estimates there is still a little bit more that will be falling inland in these regions uh, even as far south as Porto Alegre in fact uh, just northeast of there is probably where the highest rainfall will be a remaining amount still uh, to come of probably around 150 millimeters from this storm uh, maybe a little bit less um, in fact much less sorry I was getting my numbers wrong there around 75 millimeters rather than 150 the conversions and all that three inches uh, is what we're expecting from this storm uh, and up near Sao Paulo we're expecting much less in Rio de Janeiro um, only a trace probably very interesting to see these sea surface temperatures which are pretty damn cool especially for a tropical cyclone uh, only around 18 or 19 degrees celsius uh, they'll warm up as the storm moves further east to around 21 22 degrees pushing 23 for a brief time and just look at some of those inland locations falling to temperatures of around 2 degrees celsius and that is pretty close to a tropical cyclone north of one would you believe in the southern hemisphere could you imagine that in the northern hemisphere that would just be insane here's some satellite imagery of this storm right now and it is looking pretty good 
uh, question marks as to whether it is fully tropical, although I think looking at it right now with the deep convection that is over the centre and has been for some time, maybe not quite as much in those latest frames, but certainly was earlier on in the day, suggests to me that it is a tropical storm rather than a subtropical one, and the wind profile seen from ASCAP um, I think also supports that. It is a small system, fairly compact as you can see there in relation to the South American continent. And here's another view on the water vapor imagery. Uh, that moisture area just moving over the uh, eastern part there um, of Santa Catarina province. And a lot of dry air to the northwest of there as well. Um, and that's probably interfering with the storm a little bit too and probably has done for a little while. Um, the intensity probably not as high as people were first expecting. It reached a peak of around 60 miles per hour sustained. Uh, people were expecting it to push hurricane force strength, uh, but that hasn't happened, at least not so far. And we're still at 50 miles per hour, which is 80 kilometers per hour. That sustained winds though, higher gusts could still be seen even along the coast. And here's some traditional infrared imagery uh, showing the storm's development, piece of rotation, uh, convection wrapping around the center there, uh, no eye wall structure or anything like that. Um, and we'll wait to see if it tries to develop one out of that wrapping banding there that we're looking at on the imagery. But I would imagine it's probably not going to be too substantial and will probably continue to struggle. Uh, but yeah, an uh, interesting cyclone, most of the rain staying offshore at this time. Um, just that little area there further southwest of the centre. Um, some cloudiness which is probably producing precipitation south of Florianopolis. Uh, and this is some more satellite imagery uh, showing the storm's progress today. This is a nice uh, type of imagery, I think a lot of people prefer this one. Um, but there we have it, this is Cyclone. Um, and I keep forgetting the name of it. I, it is so difficult to uh, wrap your head around sometimes, but it is Yakakan. <laughs> this is Force 13, and this was our update on this storm. We'll have more updates as and when necessary as it starts to move away from Brazil.